Welcome back, all you hopefully uh, healthy and happy hookaholics, to another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, it is May, <laughs> and we've got our Angler's Haul for the month. Um, if you're not aware, last month's box for Angler's Haul came at the beginning of this month. Uh, late for last month, but on time, nevertheless. Better late than ever, right? Um, with all the things with COVID, uh, you know, shipments are kind of askew and certain com uh, companies aren't able to ship their products to these co box companies. So things like uh, Warrior Tackle and Angler's Hall and some of the others have, uh, you know, issues with uh, sourcing. Uh, but once items come in or if they can substitute an item, uh, you know, and change up the box so that they can facilitate getting them out to us, uh, us anglers, us uh, subscribers, um, they're doing that. So better let the neighbor, here is our Angler's Haul. Oh. So, uh, if you don't know what this is, Angler's Haul is like uh, most other subscription uh, mail order uh, packages with a twist. Uh, most of your mail order subscriptions like Monster Bass, um, Mystery Tackle Box, uh, Bait Crate, etc., they focus on a little bit of terminal tackle and a whole lot of soft plastics and hard plastic ba baits. Um, Angler's Haul takes the other side of that. They're not there just to, to supply you with items that get you the fish, but they're there to supply you with items that get you to the fish. So they send up things like um, apparel and hats and uh, reels and rods and reel covers and lube and and uh, tools and equipment as well as the occasional bait here and there. Um, I get the advanced tier, which is their highest level. Uh, they come in two tiers, advanced and pro. Uh, all people who subscribe to the pro level all get the same items. All people who subscribe to the advanced level will get all of the pro items plus an additional set of items that will boost the overall value of the box. So uh, without further ado, let's crack into this. Um, I've got a handy handy little tool. So I have not seen this yet, so uh, we'll see what we got. I'm hoping for a good thing. Uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot, like I said, with the issues in mail. Um, it's kind of, it's going to be hit or miss for a couple of months uh, until things get back up and roaring uh, in, in, in the world in general. So, uh, ta-da! So, this is what you get. You get a big monster box. What's in the box card? I see something right off the top that I'm really happy to get a second of. Um, so, here's your list of items. As you can see, there's two tiers, your pro level and your advanced. These, again, if this is the first time you're viewing this, there's your pro set of items, and because I upgraded and pay a little bit extra, I get these advanced items added to my box, uh, which boosts my total value. So, we'll start with the top. For $34.99, we have the Cryptek Boonie Hat. Cryptek. Cryptek. I'm going to assume that's this. Uh, size A, color Typhoon. It is a Crypt 220664 style. Taped into plastic. All right. So, we got ourselves a Boonie Rain Hat. There you go. Uh, all, all the fans out there in Australia will love this. It's got the nice little uh, you know, Cryptek symbol there. It uh, cools up to five degrees, so this should, with uh, you know, releasing the sun's rays from you, reduce reduce your overall temperature of your body by up to five degrees. So it's a little boonie hat, you know, not particularly my style. I'm I'm more the baseball cap kind of guy, uh, but. Uh, you know, nevertheless, this keeps that sun off of your eyes. It keeps a shadow line. Now, this is something people don't realize. I mean, you see a lot of anglers out there, and uh, they run the, the baseball catcher hat back. There's a real bonus to having the brim of your hat facing forward and casting a shadow over your eyes so that it does reduce a little bit of that glare and it does allow your eyes to actually acclimate to the environment a little bit better and you can see not so much see fish underwater that's more or less for your polarized lenses but it allows you to see agitation on the water especially during you know what's upcoming our, our big top water bite 
you'll see the ripples out of the corner of your eye because it, you, the sun's not glaring and blinding you. Um, you know, with the, the sun's rays hitting the light, or hitting the, the water and, and coming back at you, things like this actually do add and benefit to your sight fishing capabilities, as well as, as it says, it'll cool you down about five degrees because it's keeping that intense heat off of you. It also keeps it off your neck and your shoulders, which is also a bonus. Um, it's got a little, you know, lanyard style uh, keeper here, just a leather thing, so it's not gonna blow off while you're going down the down the Euphrates on your bat on your bass boat. <laughs> so uh, you know that's that's a plus too. So that, that's cool. I'll like I'll, I'll break that end probably. Again, they want uh, thirty four ninety nine for this boonie hat um, as apparel goes. Yeah, it's pricey, but I can't say that it's outrageously priced at that. Um, it is a good quality cap. It's got the UV protected in it. It is also a rain gear. It'll keep those droplets off your eyes. Next up, our bait. So we have a Usuri 3DR jerk bait for eight dollars and ninety nine cents. What's this? All right, so here we go. Eight ninety nine from Yozuri. Obviously, name brand Japanese import. I love Yozuri baits. I love JDM products in general from whatever company. So uh, this is a little three and a half inch, three eighths ounce. Uh, little jerk bait. It's got that holographic core center. It gives you that that flash of green, blue, violet. So uh, let's see if we can't get you that. I'll just wiggle it around because I'm sure at some point in the camera view it'll it'll show up. Um, they do have a scale pattern uh, embossed into the or not embossed but uh, laid into the plastic. Uh, it's got ribs embossed on the bottom, so that's good for a little water displacement. Uh, always Yuzuri has super sharp sticky hooks. They're one of the few baits that I actually do fish right out of the package. Um, obviously over time I do change them back out. I go to, uh, you know, uh, another hook a little bit later down the road. And when I do tinker with these and tune them, sometimes what I'll do is I will add a slightly larger hook to the tail or a slightly longer shanked treble um, to the tail just to, uh, to allow me to get uh, a few more strikes where when they come up and they catch the front hook that that tail hook will come back and that little extra you know half a mil millimeter or two will uh will allow you to uh to catch them maybe just about the gill plate or whatever and give you that extra little security that you're going to get that fish back on the bank or, or up on the boat um suspending i believe it's an sp so it's probably a suspending bait let's double check here let's see what characteristics fish the best yozuri um I'm also looking for a color. Let's try the box. Um, RGLM. Suspending. Yes, it's a suspending bait. So, suspending 90. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. I, I mean, I like jerk baits. This is good jerk bait season. There goes the neighbors. Great. <laughs> so, uh, next up is another bait. And again, also from Yozuri. So we have a, a Yozuri 3DR's flat crankbait. So we got the jerkbait for $8.99. And also for $8.99 in here is a crankbait, a flat crank. Now this one's got the craw pattern. Flat crank 55. It's a floating quarter ounce, two and a quarter inch. And it's got that, uh, I call them, I like to call them, uh, shoehorn bills but they're not but that's what I just call them because I have no real understanding of what the actual term for these things are uh, or this style of bill let's see if I can get this out here without sticking myself there we go okay so this is Redburn crawfish pattern and uh, there you go you can see that craw pattern inside and there's that I call it a shoehorn bill. I don't know exactly what they call that technical. If you know what they call this, where it's it's basically your flat bill, but then it kicks up just at the tip. There's a ton of baits that I have uh, with this bill style, but I've never understood what the term for that design, that bill design, or even who first came up with that bill design, um, what what it's called. So that would be interesting. Nice small profile bait, good for the finicky fish right now in the spring transition. 
8.99 again. Um, it's a quarter ounce, so I, I think uh, yeah, it can cast this a long ways on some light light line, and uh, it'll be interesting to catch a few fish coming up in the next couple weeks. Water temperatures are going up, 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 up. So uh, I'm hitting. I missed the spawn. Most people, uh, unfortunately, I was one of them. We couldn't get out on the waterways because of you know the, the social distancing. So uh, out of respect, you know, the fish had their chance to uh, to listen to some Barry uh, Manilow and Barry White and get it on and all that, and uh, <laughs> didn't have to worry about us bed fishing or or catching them big big berthas. But uh, I'll be gunning for them now. Next, awesome, some tungsten. We got some Wu Tungsten's drop shot weights, five dollars and ninety nine cents. Again, this is all pro tier. Um, that's not it. I don't know what that is, but that's not it. Here we go. Ooh, tungsten's drop shots. So we got, you know, three little drop shots. These are a quarter ounce drop shot weight, a three pack, 97% pure tungsten. Of course, they have to coat it with, uh, with something. Um, they won't chip, so that's a good thing. Um, Ooh, tungsten is an awesome, awesome manufacturer, so I like that. Uh, $5.99 for these three quarter ounces, and these go well with what we got in a few boxes back, which is... Um, the Grooves uh, tungsten and Grooves weight uh, uh, case where you could carry your, your drop shot weights, your bullet weights, etc. So I'll be happy to toss them in with the rest of my weights and fill that case up uh, quickly. Uh, next up, one more thing from Wu Tungsten for you Pro Box subscribers. For $2.99, Wu Tungsten's drop shot line protector. So that's what this is. This I've never seen. Um, it's kind of interesting. I'll take this out of the package. What it is, fishing is a contact sport. This is a clear, I don't know, it's a clear tube that I suppose, I'll have to research this how it operates, but obviously. Um, this is a thin, flexible tube that you will put your line through leading it down to your drop shot weight. I believe in order to prevent the chafing of the line, um, oh, it's very pliable, flexible, just clear tubing. So, price silicone, clear, thin tubes. That That's actually cool. I'll be, I'll be interested to try this out. Um, it's not something I, I expect to uh, tie on every time, but in prepping in the mornings, you know, before I go out, I'll take the time to uh, to lace those around the line before I throw my drop shot rig on, <clears throat> just to see how that works. So the Wu Tungsten's drop shot line protector, uh, and you get quite a few in here. So you get quite a few. I'm not even going to bother counting. Better than ten. Let's put it that way. Um, probably like twelve or fifteen for uh, for two dollars and ninety nine cents, giving your pro tier a total value of sixty one dollars and ninety five cents. For me, as an advanced uh, subscriber, they added something we got in the previous pack. In fact, I got it over here. Last time we were here, we got, uh, last month, we got a Planos, one of the brand new Planos with the uh, restrictor, rust protector, and these vented, uh, uh, vented uh, segments and dividers. So we got another 3600 Plano Edge to go with that one, which is actually awesome because I was planning to go to the store and get another 3600 so that I could double up and have the two in my little sling, in my little uh, ugly sticks uh, shoulder sling that I take uh, when I go out fishing typically. So now I don't have to actually spend the money. I got the, the $20 Plano uh, Edge case with the wicking. Um, it's got the little pack in here that'll wick away all the moisture, a little black pack, and these individual dividers. So I got a second one, which is awesome. So now I've doubled up, I got two that fits perfectly inside of my sling. I can set this up this afternoon and uh, be ready to go. Other good thing is if you like and you have a Sharpie, you can actually label your box like jerk baits or, or my finesse rig or you know whatever you want to do. Uh, you can label it, they make that easy. And it is an easy one-handed operation for for opening the box. Again, it's got that awesome wicking uh, packet there with the silica sand, I believe, is in it. 
and these individual dividers. And a lot of people are happy that these things are already pre-segmented. You don't have to clip them. Oh, bloody hell. I, I really couldn't care if I had to clip them, break them off, or what have you. I just like the fact that uh, that they, they actually add a lot more places in the box, in these Plano edges, where you can divide. You can make really small... Um, you know, little tiny pockets for things like if you only wanted to put hooks in one little corner, you can make a section that is literally only like that wide and just put your hooks in there or your or your weights. For example, if I wanted to just throw the, the three tungstens, I can make a little tiny notch just right there and throw my three tungsten weights in there and still have my jerk baits or my plastic worms or whatever I want to put in the box to go along with that. So that's awesome about it. They give you a lot more um, user involvement into how you want to set up the box itself, which is a bonus over a lot of other, you know, prior Plano designs and prior other box designs where, you know, you can only have one here and one here and one here, and there's only like 10 or 12 positions that you can divide it into, and the segments have to be no smaller than, say, you know, yay. Uh, and then that kind of messes you up. If you have one segment like that and a large segment, you're kind of hamstrung. You can't have another large segment on the end. You're stuck with something in between, and it might not quite fit your jerk bait or your lipped crank, or what have you. And then you end up with baits where you're kind of putting them in upside down so that the crank bait lip is kind of hanging over and the lid comes down. And yeah, it's it's not not good. <laughs> it's always a delicate delicate balance right there. Um, again, 1999 for the Plano 3600. And finally, awesome, another item from Cryptek. It is a Jupiter rain jacket. So for 99.99, giving my total box value $181.93 worth of items, we have. A jacket, a rain jacket, which is awesome. I wish I had this last month. <laughs> so, let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's my size. With Angler's Hall, you are uh, given a questionnaire when you first sign up. It, you tell them what your size is, uh, small, medium, large, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, in case they do ship you out a, a reel, like a, uh, a bait caster, so they know to ship you a bait caster that works for your predominant hand. So we have a nice, slick rain jacket. We got some rain gear. That's always a plus. It's got the hoodie with the zipper Velcro on the back, so you can roll this up and, and tuck it away out of the way. It's got that nice, I like this, it's got Velcro over top of your zipper for your throat. That's cool. I like that because working with a head buff or a Neko, um, tucking the buff in and then being able to clasp this over without actually having to zip it up sometimes adds a little bit of extra comfort. Um, I, I'm one of those people, I don't particularly like a whole bunch of stuff around my throat. <laughs> and uh, you do kind of feel constricted and suffocated at times. So having the ability to not have to actually zip up uh, in order to clasp the, the, the neck around your, around your shoulder blades, around your, around your clavicle, uh, having the ability to just use a Velcro and leave that, that zipper down, gives you that little breathability that kind of gives you a little bit more comfort. So that's a plus. Um, so that's, and it's got your layover zipper all the way down. So all the way down to the bottom, you got a snap on the bottom, and it fully zips all the way down to throw it on. Now, it does have a pocket on the inside, but it's a through pocket. It's not a uh, stitched bottom pocket, so you're not going to be able to put much of anything in there without it falling straight through and out the other side, but that's okay. You can always get some uh, adhesive uh, Velcro and, and make a little Velcro pouch out of that. That's probably what I'll do is I'll get some Velcro strips, lay them in here, some 3M, and then slap them in so that I can actually make this a usable pocket rather than the through pocket. <clears throat> that being said, nice soft material. It is well reinforced in all of the points that need to be reinforced. I like seeing that. Uh, so often you see these that just have the straight material and they don't have the added little doubles up, doubling up of material around the stitch points. Um, that benefits in the waterproofing, but also benefits in allowing you to have a little bit more stretch without the worry of it tearing. So that's a good thing. 
So I'll be interested to see how this rolls, um, see how it, it fares as I use it over the season, and uh, whether it holds up. I'm pretty sure it is going to hold up, because uh, from what I know, this is a pretty darn good brand when it comes to uh, some outdoor apparel. So yeah, comfortable little, little rain jacket. And it's lightweight, surprising. Oh, cups. Oh, good. You can adjust your cuffs, too. That's pretty cool. I prefer uh, a loose cuff that you can adjust with uh, a Velcro or a pull string rather than the interstitched, um, uh, like, bungee materials or, or what have you uh, that you're just kind of stretching. I, I like to be able to, you know, if I want to, just leave it open. Or, the added benefit, I can bring this up to my... Up just over my wrist and expose my wrist so I'm not worried about getting it caught on anything or getting dirty. <laughs> but uh, reaching down into a live well, I can pull this up, put that down, and I got I can reach into the live well without it getting hung up. So I like that as opposed to you know the ones that are already pre-done. They're kind of always slipping down, and that's that's what you have. Again, you get a little bit of a constriction feeling uh, around your wrists. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I like that. I mean, it's, it's these little things that people. I don't know, I'm quirky, but little things like this, people are like, who gives a crap? And to a point, yeah, who gives a crap? It's pretty much standard. But there are little things that you, you take for granted um, if you're not thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, awesome. So total value, $181.93 for my package. Is it worth $181.93? Uh, no. <laughs> Straight up, no. It's probably worth maybe $100. 30, 120 bucks. Um, and, you know, I, a boonie hat, something like this, you could, you could all, you know, obviously go to a, a cheaper store and get um, something similar that will work just as well. It won't last as long. You won't get the longevity out of it. So for $35, yes, I intend to have this for many, many years. Um, as opposed to going to like your 7 Eleven and picking up a hat and uh, having it for the summer and then it's in the garbage. Um, and, you know, even then you're spending 19, 20 bucks. So for the extra ten or fifteen dollars, is it worth that? Yes, yes, for the longevity and the and knowing that it's made manufactured well. Uh, tungsten, awesome. Those tungsten drop shot line protectors, I don't know. I'll give them a shot. I I've never used anything like that before. I've always just made a liter of a higher grade material, or you know, for the most part, you want your your drop shot weights to pop off so it saves your rig. Um, and yeah, tungsten's expensive. So if you're in extremely snaggy stuff, go to a lead. Go to lead weight. If you're in less snaggy stuff or you really do want that smaller presentation weight with the same, uh, you know, same mass, you really, really want to use the tungsten, then go with tungsten. And, and be aware you could lose that tungsten weight. Um, that's just the nature of the game. You know, you don't race cars and not expect to pay for fuel. <laughs> it just is what it is. Um, the Plano Edge, that's awesome. Part of me is like, yeah, I wish it was something different. Because uh, we did get one previously. I'd like to see new things each time. But in the same aspect, you can never have too many tackle boxes. Um, especially if you're a tackle junkie hookaholic like myself. Um, who's always getting baits regardless. If I go out to the store, I'm going to grab something. I just always inevitably do. Um, and, and the fact that it is an identical one, so it pairs. I like that. It would be kind of annoying if they gave you the 3600 last month and a 3700 this month. And now you've got two different sizes, although, yeah, that gives you variety, but now you're not going to put both of those in the same tackle bag, you know what I mean? At least they're the same, it's nice and even, and, uh, and you can go with it. Plus, I don't have to open up that second pack of broken segments uh, or dividers, because I still have the dividers from the first one that I can just pop into this one. So that's awesome. Um, the rain jacket, the jumper, or juniper, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this. This will keep me uh, dry and... Uh, and keep me cool at the same time. It's not a very... I'm wearing it inside. It's a hot day. It's going to be 80 tomorrow as well. And uh, it's comfortable. So with all that being said, uh, try to keep this as short and sweet, even though I keep rambling. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope you saw some uh, some items. Maybe you might be looking for a, a Wu Tungsten Drop Shot Line Protector. Check out their website. Uh, the Plano Edge Series ba uh, boxes... You know it. Everybody out there is raving about them. They are awesome. They really are. Uh, and also, you know, like I alluded to, our our uh, our boxes for our um, tackle jigs, etc. The, the weights that come in out of groove. 
Groove has some awesome, awesome boxes as well for your, for your storage uh, uses. If you like this, subscribe and share this with uh, your friends and family. Uh, join the Hookaholics family nation, and uh, we'll keep growing together. I hope you had a little bit of fun. I hope this ins uh, inspired you. If you are interested in this, uh, it is pricey on the on the uh, you know the advanced tier box uh, at one hundred and ten dollars, one hundred nine dollars, and so. Uh, but there is that slightly cheaper uh, pro tier. The only thing you wouldn't have gotten this month would have been the edge box, and you wouldn't have gotten this rain jacket. But you would have gotten all the other items shown. So, if the other items were enough for you, you might feel like jumping on that. Uh, and I'll leave the link for this website to join Anglers Hall if you choose. I don't get anything. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not, you know, I don't endorse them per se. I don't sell their stuff for them. Uh, I buy all this stuff out of my own pocket. I just like it, and I figured, why the heck not share it? Um, and in the environment that we're in right now, there's very little to do aside from work. I figured, you know, I keep getting these. I might as well keep sharing them with you. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. And as always, uh, from me to you, I hope you're all healthy and happy, and we're getting through this together uh, as a world, and uh, we're going to be back on the waters together as anglers and, ang and, and lady anglers, and uh, hopefully this will all soon be over and be, be, uh, be in our past. But uh, for now, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hookaholics.